Hello and welcome to Deck Diary. My name is Schnell from the Homebrew Magic Podcast and MadeUpLabs.com. And today I've got uh, two overlapping objectives involving white spells. So rather than running my red-green landfall mutate deck that's been doing much better for me lately, uh, I'm going to grind out for these and see how the deck runs overall. I built a white-blue, mostly blue with a splash of white, honestly, which is a terrible way to go because I'm... I've got red and blue, uh, or, you know, I'm sorry. I've got white and blue, and white and red, and I'm primarily blue. So I should be able to nail this first one pretty quickly. The second one, we'll see how the deck goes. Maybe I'll switch back to, uh, red, green, landfall, mutate, but, uh, let's see if I can mail some, some people out. Uh, let's get the right deck, and go from there. Ideal Draw allows you to curve out both playing a land and spending all available mana every turn for the first few turns. Again, as I put it, one, two, and stuff to do. <sighs> yeah, I'm, start, I'm trying to do more mathematics of my opening hands because ideally you want to be able to do stuff for the first five turns out of the top ten cards of your deck. That's, that's my goal when drawing test hands for real things. Uh, so, we've got three basics. Uh, Flumpf, which I wanted to find an excuse to run Flumpf, Revitalize, and Teferi's Tutelage. So it looks like we're going to go Flumpf, Tutelage, and this is going to be a good, good opening uh, to this deck, and we'll see how this runs overall. So I did not curve out according to their thing, because I did not use or play land and spend all my mana. But we've got Flumpf, we'll Tutelage, and then next turn Revitalize, and Confounding conundrum and see how things go. Don't need the land. Ah, lifelink. So he's going cleric life gain. Let's drop another tutelage. Can't block him anyway. Oh god. Uh, yeah, we'll pitch that because we can't block his menace boy. So this is where we just get hit in the face mercilessly by this dog. Oof. Yeah, this is gonna end poorly. Okay, so we've got the unsummon now, so we can at least bounce. Uh, we don't really need, so we'll just pitch the land right away, and then mill triggers for days. And then we can unsummon whatever the biggest threat is that he swings at me with. Uh, control gain, destroy target creature, yeah, we're just gonna... Get rid of that angel now, before that ability resolves. And buy us some sweet, sweet, sweet time. Oh. Yep, can't block it anyway. And his life total does not matter. It's deck total, which is down to 35 already. his library away, and then undo his turn. There we go. And we can still target this thing, so we'll go ahead and uh, unsummon it then when he swings for the fences. My little flumph, not being able to block his menace dog. But so far the deck's doing what it's designed to do. Uh, buy time and get rid of the library. Hmm. 
Okay. We don't like that a whole hell of a lot. Let's... As he goes to swing, we go away. And he doesn't have enough to re equip that yet. I think he's looking at his graveyard for something. Does he have any. Okay. So I'm still on a four turn clock. Uh, so let's get another card out. Vigilance, Hexproof, Planeswalkers. Yeah, let's drop this land and get a bird out as a as an extra blocker. And sure, we'll bounce a land back in case we draw the Hedron or the Ruin Crab, not Hedron Crab, the better the better Hedron Crab. Plus, having a discard option, depending on what else I draw, because who knows? Maybe I'll see all four Teferi's Tooth Bitches. Two to Jesus. Uh, so, he's got nine cards left on my turn. He will lose six of them. So as long as I can... There's a card draw. Good. Getting that land out of there. Uh, and then I think that's game. I'll draw for my turn. He'll be out of cards. If he can't destroy it. Yeah, with one white. There we go. So, we are 1-0 out of the gate with this deck. Hopefully it wasn't just a fluke. Um, I only cast two white spells? Three white spells? Three white spells. Okay. But we're almost halfway there to that first objective, and we got a win out of it, which is much more entertaining to watch. 60 card decks typically have 23 to 27 lands, depending on the average spell cost. Red Jinkies. Red Jixie. With also the Karn Avatar. Ah, I go first, and I can guarantee Tutelages and Glacial Grasp. I can always draw cards later, and yeah, we're not doing anything for the first two turns, but I'm going first, which I'm a little bit more okay with. Because ideally now we want to draw planes, which we didn't, and then we get Flumpf. Flumpf's Tutelage. That is now the name of this deck. I will update it immediately. Let's cycle for planes? Nope. Okay. Mill, ra mill train rolling, though. So he's probably going to be life siphoning as well with all that wither bloom. Land for the turn. And tutelage. Um, do we want more lands? <sighs> you know what? We'll pitch that just in case we don't draw anytime soon. My white source. And I can always cycle this on my next turn, but having another land out means I can tap something down and mill it get this land out, and then cycle this. Okay. So we cycle after we... Yeah, we'll tap down that thing. We'll give him a little spider. I'd rather take four than six and cycle that. 
White source, white source, white source. No white source, but we can at least answer one of his things. And he's under 30 now. And a white source would be great. So I'm dropping a 13. It's going to 22 on my draw step. Won't drop the island right away. We'll pop first just to see if we get a white source. Um, trigger's already on the stack. We'll let that resolve. Tuck that away because we don't want it. Get another one anyway. It's down to 18. And I'm going to be taking a boatload on the crackback. So, again, we'll bounce his biggest threat, which would leave... Six, eight, putting me at five. <sighs> if I get a white source, that's that'll help because then I can revitalize, card draw, and gain light. Or yeah, putting me back up to eight. I don't want to recast, which will waste time. What did he get back? Okay, so whatever the hell he puts demonic embrace on. Uh, yep, we'll let that go. Let him swing. Let him have another spider. Ugh, still no white sources though. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's game. But we'll let him win this one. I mean, I won't concede. We'll let him actually just beat me to death. Maybe I'm in his head. Maybe he thinks with six islands open, and he hasn't been paying attention that I've been discarding white cards. Okay. What? Why did he... Okay, let's take a look at the battlefield. He had 12 cards left. He could have swung for leaving me at 2. I draw one card for sure. Well, let me see the next card. Ah, well, let me see the next card. Putting him down to 8 cards. Did I... Yeah, okay. I guess I was just in his head. I was honestly congratulating him on, on winning the game. Let's run draw mill again. I'm sorry, Flumpf's tutelage. Combo decks focus on finding and casting spells that work together to produce powerful effects, often winning the game outright. You can bluff not having a spell to cast by quickly spacebar. Uh, elevated party. Fair enough, good luck to you, elevated party. Hey, lands of both colors, a tutelage, a card draw, and my opponent goes first. I don't have two blue, but the only thing in my hand that requires two blue is a late game draw anyway. So this will be the all white lands. I hope he tries to ramp lands. See that card, see all of the booster spells, or the, the land searchers, and... Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is not going to end well for us. Um, yeah, we still want the tutelage out. We can unsummon whatever big thing he's about to ramp into. Uh, we'll pitch the thing that we can't cast currently. Let's start this. Okay. 
So he can pay three to put a ten drop in his hand. Okay, yeah. Cultivate's kind of what we anticipated. <sighs> Ranger class. The free release Ranger class kicked my ass one of the games we, I played against it. Yeah, he's reading that, seeing that he can't throw more lands out. He can hit me, though. Oh, he can hit me. So, let's get a blue out so we've got an extra blue. Gain a life, draw a card, force some mill. And now we can unsummon when we need to. This deck is down to 40. So not as fast as I'd like, but I'm still not... Okay. Tax or blocks. Um, yep. Resolve. No blocks. Take the damage, and then before the end of his turn, put it back in his hand, so no attack triggers for him. Okay. Um, if we're gonna... Yeah, if we do this right, we'll opt to see if we get a crab. No crab. want to draw that one and cast it right away. We do! Tutelage, tutelage trigger, tutelage triggers, spend that, right the turn, no attacks, keep a blocker open for when the big guys start showing up, but 32 cards, uh, we are going to be drawing at least two, maybe three, Three cards, that's 12 cards of his library down, leaving him at 20. Actually, I think I'm better off revitalizing and Glacial Grasp, which will still be the same net effect. Ooh, okay. Keep that thing tapped. Mill two, I draw a card, we get some more card mill triggers, we get notifications on my phone, and then, yep, we'll revitalize. Get more mill, nice. Get more land. Drop that, no attacks. Okay, so he's down to 11. We're milling 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, I think we got him. Wow, that's a lot of effect. As long as I don't screw this up, let's revitalize. Yeah, we'll let that resolve. It's down to two, we cast this, we draw a card, we mill them out. Okay, three and oh. Knowing when to get hit in the face is the most frustrating part of this deck, though. Just letting things go, keeping my board state. But, again, another win. We cast a couple of white spells. So we're going to keep running uh, 
Don't be too lunch. I'm just excited because this deck is doing well, and I didn't really have to burn any uh, any cards on it. It was just the random crap I did. I did spend for a, uh, or I did spend. I uh, turned in for another flump. Uh, yeah, that's good. We'll drop power persuasion because it's a three drop. But then we go grab, grab revitalize, and then see how the game goes. Don't like starting down a card, but maybe he's running mill too, and that is the advantage I need. Uh, wait on the revitalize. If I don't need to do it yet, I might as well save it for when I've got tutelage triggers to uh double up on. Uh, ETBs for the treasure. Okay. Let him spend the treasure for something. Oh. Okay. Yep. Now I'm some more, and just pass. We can unsummon what we need to, we can revitalize if we have to. But right now, we'll just let him hit us, and let him cast whatever he wants. He's cheating out stuff with one-time tricks. For one blue, I can undo all of his effort. Uh, create a trigger token. Okay. I'm not, not worried about that one yet. Ah, oh, it's not swinging. Okay, all of the gosh damn lands. Maybe we should go for that card draw to try and power through. He's got for tricks. That's what he's got for tricks. So I lied. I, I knew exactly what he had for tricks. And it's approaching 32, 31 in his turn. So unless he's got something else really, really big to drop. Not worried about unsummoning, because he probably assumes at this point I would have already gotten rid of his threat. No blocks. He activates it multiple times. All of the land. I should throw a, a set of Evolving Walls in this deck. I just realized that with those landfall triggers and the mana fixing. Yep, and we'll drop this guy to offset his, uh, his combat tricks and get a little bit more mill. He's under half a library, but I, I haven't seen anything other than crabs and land. Uh, no blocks. Resolve, and then we'll just bounce it. Let it go through. Okay. Um, you know what? We're going to keep that as a goofy trick because it's a stupid goofy trick. No attacks. End turn. So we can make one of the crabs a 2-5. Uh, one of the other creatures on the battlefield will conditional 
Okay, so that doesn't do anything other than boosting. What is he going for? <laughs> Having to soul shatter to get rid of a crab. Okay. Oomph. No attacks. I didn't mill him all that turn. So next turn we'll probably flash in the duelist. And let's make the flumph. Uh, Man of Shunt against Death Touch. No blocks. We'll let him waste the mana. He's deciding how much he wants to spend on it. Well, he's going to get all the two through. Down to seventeen. My turn. Oh my god. Okay. Get him down. You got responses? Then we'll cycle and see if we can get something else out here. This is Cycle that. Get something not land related. Um. Yeah, we'll gain life and fetch out a land. Doesn't matter which one. Just thin the deck a little bit. And we're not going to swing. Just battlefield. Tap it, and up to one target creature and opponent controls. It doesn't have tap. Direct mana next up. Tap, step. Tap down my flumph. Oh, they don't untap. Get treasure. Oh, will he get treasure? Uh, we will. Yeah, now we'll bounce. We'll bounce that thing back. We'll we'll take his ability to pump away. I hope he doesn't have any other tricks. Now I can mill him for 3 down to 10, but yeah, might not be able to survive this one long term, or long enough for a uh, mill to happen. Okay, now he has infinite mana, basically. Well, let's mill that away. Big. Come on, that 20. Four. Bounce it on back. We bought ourselves a turn. It's down to nine. Can I mill? Yeah. Give him the good game. So many lands. So many lands. And still almost got there. Okay, so now we're what? Two and one? Three and one? I don't remember. But 
I don't care about individual records for decks. I care about daily objectives and having fun. If you play three of your turns without seeing the timer fuse, you'll get a 30 second extension for a future turn. Or just don't take all day to play the game. I mean, if your internet connection's bad, I'm not going to do it. I apologize to my opponent for not knowing whatever kanji or whatnot that is. I go first, and it sucks. Mulligan. That is better. We'll probably drop the grasp, just because I'd much rather have a body. Uh, opt. Yeah, we'll stop right away. Hey, the two flinch. So now we know. Uh, skip that. We can drop the duelist when we need to, but otherwise next turn is tutelage, followed by revitalize. When it dies, he gets a duder. This is going to be another one of those decks where I used the suggested amount of lands and it's way too many. And start the mill train. Eight cards left. Yes, for talent. Yeah, we're just going to pass because we can always just counter whatever thing he's doing or respond at instant speed, so we might as well keep the uh, villain's lair open. Uh, yeah, we're going to counter that. I'd much rather not have him put me on a shorter fuse. Finalize, draw a card. Hey, it's your boy. Teferi's two inch. Um Yeah, we'll get rid of that, keep the crab. and lands aren't dead draws. Rack up to 19 already. Two or less. Greater of the battlefield. Okay, so we can get a rune of speed, probably. Well, I've given up a lot of options. I would take the rune of speed just seeing it, because... Ah! I'd want to be as aggressive as possible. Throw that out, and then I can offset one of his things with a list. Still having sounds my phone. Okay, he has 31 cards in. He's milling four on every one of my turn. Ah. Uh. Fine. I didn't want to have crabs anyway. TV, you pay two. Swing it out. Um, yeah. Flash this in. I think that's smaller. And block there. Five. Let's drop Flumpf. And end the turn. So we've got a card trigger there. He's down to 24. If I block with Flumpf, he's down to 20. On my turn, he's down to 16. He's down to 14. Oh. Give 
card draw triggers off of that. Okay, so throw down the duelist, targeting that. Uh, then lock there. Taking eight, but keeping the flump alive for longer. Might have been my best call. So, Flump is going to take a hit. Yeah, I need that. Pretty close. Like, block his flyer and mill him down. Then, land the turn. Tutelage. Discard it right away. So, what does Matt say? Matt says he's got to beat me here. No attacks. You can kill my flump, you wins. Yep. It's blocking there. Uh, blocking there. Blocking there. Get it. Didn't do it. Damn it. Double strike. Almost had it. He had no cards in his library, so yes, technically I did it. But that was good. That was a fun game. Got everything in double strike. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll run this once more. Change the name to Flumps Tulich. But I'm liking this deck for a uh, first first day throw together. Cause my ideal is to have a couple of different decks that keep getting played through in rotation. Uh, Miguel Castro Arn, good luck to you. Um, and then just keep retooling and improving them and play testing a bunch because that's the point of the deck diary. Play as much magic as I can get better at it, get better at standard, get better at interaction, and judgment calls. Uh, I already forgot who's going first, because I don't pay attention. Talk to myself. Quiet room. Ish. He's deciding I go first, so then we go crab, island crab, go, crab, a plains, mill six, go. Hopefully get a land by that time. And actually, whether I go first or not, that kind of just sort of locked into that opening play. Miguel? There we go. Scuttle crab. And he's gaining life. Good. You don't care about life. Kill that which has no life. Hit and swing with the crab. Okay. It's life linky, and we grew exactly what we wanted there. Smell him two. That, because I'd much rather revitalize and be able to unsummon stuff as he starts to get bigger and no swings. Oh, he's already down to 36. Oh, yeah. But he swings. Oh, well, yeah, he'll, he should equip, swing. Gain life, get bigger. It won't go through, but he'll get the triggers he needs. So that's probably the best call. And then next turn I can wait to unsummon him. Yep. Swing for two. Lock with crab at no detriment to me. Now he gets the counter. Oh, wait no. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, we will straight up revitalize. Gain three, draw, make a mill. And I have to discard something. I want to keep the land. That's card draw trigger. Yeah, we'll pitch the unsummon. Oh wait, disregard. We don't discard. I was thinking tut tutelage. No, uh, we'll play the land for the turn. I zoned out and was thinking of the wrong triggers. And now we'll skip and wait to unsummon his uh, Hallowed Priest when he swings. So he's down to 25 already. The 23 on my turn. Assuming I don't... Okay, assuming no card draws. Confounding Conundrum. Get him down to 21. Good. That's exactly what we want to see. That confidence in that life gain. And get rid of it. Okay, so... Yeah, he's about to get really, really, really wide. Um... Or... No attacks. 18 cards in library. If I get a land, so he'll replay the other one, he'll equip the Shadow Spear to this one and swing, which I will block. Both of them will get triggers, he won't get enough life right now for the Griffin area to trigger, but that doesn't account for the other cards in his hand. So yeah, he's better off playing this one so that he gets the life, or the life gain triggers right away. There we go. Ooh. That hurts. Because then he's getting griffins right away. Okay, so. After resolutions, he is down to 14. I can pay up to three, which creates a thing. So let's opt. We like that. So now he's down to ten. So now he's down to four. He's got to kill me on his turn. And we will... Actually, can we get the last... Yeah, let's get the last. Auto pay that. Don't want that. Milled, and that's game. And flump, because it's funny. Got him. Very happy with how this deck is running. Improvise. Uh, since we need some red spells, and I don't want to wait, I'm going to switch over... First off... Uh, edit deck. Let's do a quick rundown of this deck for you guys. Uh, so, uh, 13 islands, 9... Nine planes. We're going to drop probably two and two and add Evolving Wilds just so we got some fixing. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Uh, if it's an early drop, it's great. Doesn't hurt. Late game, having a 3-4 uh, flyer to just, just uh, show up and block could be very, very helpful. Uh, Priest of the Ancient Lore. Life gaining card draw to help with the tutelage and life gain to keep us alive longer. Tazim Raptor, 2-2 two, two flying. It's a blocker and bouncing a land so that I can get more landfall triggers off the crabs. Glacial Grasp, shutting down a creature for a turn, milling two, and drawing a card to go with the uh, tutelage. Pop Quiz, which I can learn into. Right now I've only got Environmental Sciences and Expanded Anatomy, but it's just decent 
extra crap to have. Um, so power of persuasion, still not sure on this one, but it gives me more options to answer something. It's only sorcery speed, so I have to pick my targets really good. Uh, the playset of the tutelage, which is the backbone of this deck. Uh, you find the villain's lair, a great modal card, uh, countering a, uh, it's a full-on counter spell for one more, or draw to pitch to, and again, back to tutelage. Confounding Conundrum is a one-of in the deck, just because I only had one. The card draw trigger is great off of it, and it does shut down the entire green land ramp archetype by itself. Will of the All Hunter, uh, the combat tricks are great, the cycling is excellent, Revitalize, huge, Flumpf is, <laughs> Flumpf is doing what he's supposed to, being a big blocker and letting me draw a card. Yeah, he lets my opponent draw a card, but at that point, if I have one or more uh, tutelages, as you've seen, that's a hell of a lot of mill right there. Multiple choice, great answers early game or late game, if I need card draw, if I need a body on the field, if I need to get rid of something. Uh, the Duelist is a nice little combat trick. Unsummon is great. The Ruin Crab, the other part of the backbone of this deck. And then Ops, I'm only running two of, just because uh, I didn't I didn't feel like I needed to run four of those cantrips. I'd much rather have more space for some of the other like tricks in there. But uh, So let's, again, change the name to Flumps Tutelage. I spelled that right, because that is important. And then we'll switch over to the Landfall Mutate deck and get the rest of those dailies. Uh, I never just hit the alt thing during draft to see what I have, but I haven't been drafting that much. Newell, with your fibble thip. Good luck to you. Um, opponent goes first, and this is terrible. Slightly less terrible. The only thing that we can't technically use at all is the Lanor Visionary, so we'll tuck that and hope we draw something better. Yeah, we're keeping a really, really bad hand. But now we've got a shock. We can deal with an early game drop. Which he's deciding what he wants. Go ahead and zap that right away. Uh, that, and foretell some answers. Let him go. So now our ideal draw is Brushfire Elemental. Brushfire Elemental or uh, the Dragon's, Dragon's Guard Elite. Because then I can start benefiting off of all my, all my crap. Okay, so we didn't get the uh, thing we wanted. Do we thin the deck out now? Yeah, we'll start thinning the deck out. Eh. Get a forest, because we have a, two mountains that we'll need for other stuff. And we'll pass and see what he does with the uh, higher hex plate. We'll take damage. Yep, still nothing, but we can at least answer. We've got two different answers for multiple things. He knows I've got something. That'll buy me time if he uh, waits. Or he just... Puts me on a centering clock. So let's get this out of the way. Next turn, drop Terror of the Peaks, which he probably has a creature kill for him. I should not have kept this hand, but I hate mulliganing again. I have to mulligan once, so be it. If I have to mulligan twice, uh, it's almost not worth playing. Yep. There it is. I 
10 down to 12. Cycle that since it doesn't seem like he's been playing anything anyway. Um, yeah, next time he hits me with the Hexblade, I'm just gonna kill it. I lied, I'm gonna kill that thing. I'll go to 10. Go down to 10 and then hope to rebuild. Uh, Lanawar Visionary, Emissary, whatever it's called. Um, let's try. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Uh, we don't have enough to do the kicker, so we'll just put some counters on. The next turn, make it bigger. Fight whatever he's got. Down to eight, regardless. Eight minimum. Can we stabilize off of such a terrible, terrible opening? He's got a creature kill. Yep. Oh, and he's got that thing. Okay. Yep, down to six. Span Dragon is so good that it gets treasure when it gets targeted. You get the trigger, then before Broken Wings resolves, then you get the mana you need for that. Okay. Uh, no attacks. We'll just take the hit. Come on. Kill it. I know you want to. I know you're going to. What is this moving thing in the upper right-hand corner of this map? Are we on the back of some giant crab thing that I never realized? Okay, I lost the game. Uh, how'd I do in the dailies? There we did it. And we leveled up. So, uh, let us crack a pack and call it a day. Uh, new cards we got. The Scion of Stygia. ETB... Choose target creature to opponent controls on roll. Either tap it or tap with ice. Uh, ETB creature you uh, creature you control get plus one plus one and vigilance. On the turn. That's not terrible. Purple worm. This thing destroyed me uh, in a game at uh, the pre-release for AFR. Uh, Displacer beast. Really pissed off that it doesn't like phase out, but I get what they were going for. And our rare is another well, cave of the frost dragon. Uh, yeah, we might just throw that into the uh, Flimp deck right away and go from there, but uh, hopefully I can... Gr uh, yeah, so I might just grind through tomorrow morning's objectives bright and early. I'll probably play a few more games here just to see if I can get up to uh, 1,000 extra coins, but the next episode will either be dailies or a draft, depending on how the dailies go. So uh, stay tuned, have a good week in Magic, and I'll talk to you later.